Hello everyone, this is DP and welcome back to the Let's Play of Code Vein. Last time we had um, started doing the... Uh, what is it called again? <laughs> oh, sorry. We had started doing the... No, no, the Howling Pit. Uh, met Mia Kernstein. Found out about Nicholas. And now we are going to continue onwards. And like I said, this time I'm using Yakimo for this segment because he'll make it a lot more easier. You have to take whatever you can use. And I actually do mean he'll make this segment a lot more easier. Because, it, um. Ugh. The rusted sluice gate key. Oh, yeah. Um, right now we're in the Merkinit. Mercury, you know, Mercury Blood Co. to try and get the slow removal, and I actually need to put on slow resistance. Oh no, we've already mastered that. Um, but it's going to take me a while to learn it because my level's a little bit too high. Actually, yeah, in fact, yeah, let's talk about the gimmick of, um, of certain parts of this game. Um, like some games, Code Vein has a level gimmick system in it, in terms of that, depending on. Depending on your overall level compared to the level of the area will determine about how quickly you can learn abilities. So like because we're at what level are we at again? So because we're at level twenty, we're going to be learning abilities at a slower rate than if we were at like ten. And that's literally only due to the and that's literally because of the gimmick that's in the game. Alright, uh Ooh, I mean, let's head up here, grab this. But yep, so lock door, we'll use that as our landmark because we need to grab the eagle key. Oh, but like, yeah, as I was saying, so because I'm at level 20 and this area, I think you have to be at like, it's like area levels like 10 or 15. Um, of course, I'm going to be learning if this is at lower rate, but that's the reason, but that's the point of having the, mod the MJ's modules. They just basically allow you to learn your abilities a lot more easier. Woo! Stop him in the butt. Stab him in the butt, stab him in the butt, butt, stab him in the butt. Ah! This thing's gonna be hard. Because this thing has the eagle key. So I'm trying to land the back hit, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to gain one. Yeah, come on! He's off the floor, and he's dead as well, and he gives off a lot of haze, so you can kill him, go for it, there's the eagle key, but we don't want to go there just yet, we want to go up here, grab this, Got something we can use?
sorry. Moving out. <sighs> and now we can use the eagle key. We don't want to go that way yet. We'll go this way first. Lost in the distance. Yeah, I can see him. That's the mask covered key. We're bogged down here. Those bastards eat any damn thing in front of them. <sighs> I'm still looking for that assassin blood code, but I don't know where it is. I can't remember. Because I know you're supposed to have it at this point, but I just haven't found it yet. We want to grab this, got something we can use, and then that would be your next fawn. Grab this, some Queen's Iron. Activate this with the moss covered key. Yakumo just kills things left, right, and center. <laughs> Ugh, right done. Um, right, grab this. Plasma cartridge. We don't want to. Make you drop. I think this is what I think it is. Nope. Not what I want.
Ooh. And this has the Hana Mokoro. Uh, this is basically the base of Louis' sword. So, like I said, like I just said, the base of Louis' sword. Uh, there is a version in the depths that has lightning element already adjusted to it, thanks to a certain chrome. I wouldn't like to save spoilers. I'm not going to say it, but it's what makes it a lot more. Um. What's what I'm looking for? It makes the um, it makes trying to kill the boss of this area a lot more easier than it's supposed, than it can be. But, but of course we haven't got everything. Right, I'm just checking. Yeah, I'm missing a missile somewhere over there. Ugh. Go drop here. Yeah. As you can see, those things are very weak to magic. Ugh. And we we've got the Impaler right here. Right, um... Right, let me just shut something. Huh? Come on, let's move it. Yeah, no, let's not move it yet. Uh, basically, uh, the, the hunter or Jack, which we haven't met yet, is about to kill the little boy, but there's a reason why. Um, Don't run too far ahead. I'm not going to explain it Another yet, but... Ugh, hold up. Right now, I'm just about to get, get up a map on my phone about with the um, Cobain maps because like oh I know book from Louis because like I was just saying um Codain maps because at this like I said because at this point we're supposed to have the assassins um yeah the assassins blood code but we haven't got it yet which is kind of strange because we are supposed to have it at this point um howling Right. Yeah. Right, yeah, um, I've definitely missed a part here. So let's go to the Yeah, let's go for to the hills of deception. For me, um, yeah, hold on. Grab that, all raw material, and I could concentrate. Right then, um, we want to go down. It's 
Because we missed this part right here, and there should be a missile nearby. There we go, and here we are, the Assassin's Blood Code. Right, that one. Yeah. Um, right, so from here we need to head on up because we need to gain the Brighton Missile which is right here. Well, we do not need to run. Don't mess with the best, right? Alright. are going to be using a vivifier to get back to the last mark because I believe we have everything but yeah we have everything I think so Oh yeah, and as you saw, so we do have a few Atlas um, vestiges, which you get from Yakumo. Uh, let's see. Uh, so I'm just seeing if we need any, if we've got anything else that we're missing here. Nope. Right. Um, let's go back to the home base. So, if you want to get the Atlas blood code, talk to Yakma. That we have the chance. My blood code. It's a symbol of trust. One, take it. <laughs> right done. Um. Uh.
Um, restore vestiges. So we've got the Atlas one. Find out where they are now if we follow their memories. You know, use them as a kind of stay with the injured. I guess. In a way, along with everyone, in the end, all of us who chose to stay. Maybe if we had talked it out, we could have found a way to stick together. Still, I start to wonder that all those guys who left blame me for their deaths. Well, it's not like I'll find the answer now. No matter how many times I ask. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Yakima. Like I said, guys, all... Oh, like I said, guys, getting all these, um... Blood vest... Well, getting all the vestiges and whatnot. Um, well, you need to unlock all... Watch all of them and unlock all of them. I believe to get the, like, proper ending. What is it? But, um... It also gives you a good black backstory. And another reason why you also want to use the Atlas um, blood code, even though I'm not using it, is if you're using a strength build and you're using two-handed swords, you get the two-handed sword mastery off of it. So it's kind of useful to be having. Well, it's useful to be having when you're using the two-handed swords, but I'm only using two-handed swords for that for this one moment because the um, Howling Pit is a water bog stage. I don't know if he was just a sore loser or if it went deeper than that. Ricky had been coming after me ever since, but two of us disagreed on calling him a good guy would be a stretch. Well, at least he was honest with himself. <laughs> That's something. Oh, me. And now we are going into the Assassin's Vestige. Second one, so we can gain this. Show me that Yakima, because you already forgot them once. <laughs> what is it?
time. I never had any idea how we... Come on. Embarrassingly, I'm going to keep on moving ahead. And I'll... I owe them that much. Thanks. I don't know if I've said this before, but it's really good being here with you all. I'll keep <laughs> supporting you however I can. Right then, with that all done, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to switch to the Prometheus uh, blood code because that's my normal blood code. Use this. Yep. Uh, let's see, drain rate. Nope. Yes, maybe I don't know. Um. <coughs> anyway. Right, because we we are about to go up against the boss, so. Mercury, I'm just... Damn it. Alright, uh, looks like we're just putting the resistance up then for this. Um, does Jack and I have anything we need? Or want? Yeah, we'll gain overdrive. Can we master it now? You, we can. Uh, that's an MJ12, so. And that puts stun, but we're not going to be using stun. I mean, we can gain shadow hunt. So, shadow assault. Right, yeah, so we'll gain overdrive. Um, let's see, so, for this, we're going to swap out our flame weapon for lightning weapon, swap out adrenaline for overdrive, right, yeah, swap out phantom assault for, oh, we can't swap it out for anything, uh, keep lightning spike, firestorm, yeah, We'll go with take the drain meeting off for the slow resistance. Full of shark. Can it, shall we swap it for anything else? Yeah, we'll actually swap it out for adrenaline. And then we want to have anti-slow vaccines. Uh, what else do we want? That's pretty much it for this part. Oh yeah, um, I think we've got enough to get one of our weapons up to plus four. Um, what do you want to upgrade? Right. Oh no, we are one. Also, I might be missing a queen still somewhere. Emphasis on the might be. Um, but oh well. Okay. Right. There you go. So, um, I would still use Shakamo for this. And let us go to the bottom of the shore. But yeah, what I like about, um, the one good thing about the Howling Pit and the developers knew what they were doing for this is that they didn't put in a um, trial of blood because they knew this, this level would be impossible to do if you had it. Well, not impossible, but near impossible to do if you put a trial of blood in, which is, well, very semi thoughtful of them. And I do mean semi thoughtful of them. Let's go up here. Here's hoping we find something interesting. <laughs> We're bogged down here. That's about that. Oh wait, this might be the last queen steel. Yep, so technically you can get white now, we can get one of our weapons up to plus um, four, but we're not going to do that yet. It's a seafloor oil extraction facility. 
Okay, thanks for that, Yakumo. Um, yep. But for this, we are going to go for... Okay, what are we doing? We're going to go for... Equip light Lightning Weapon. Overdrive. Did not mean to use Blade Dance. Meant to go for Adrenaline, but oh well. So basically what we find, we see of course Jack or the Hunter just kill, essentially we just see her, him up against um, Mia. Ouch. Ow. Well, let's get some of our eye call there. Ouch! Yuck! What the hell? Uh, this is the reason why the invading executioner is one of the most piss taking bosses in the game it's one of the piss taking it is one of the it is one of the hardest bosses okay. in the game I'm going to say that now not the hardest one of the hardest Ugh. sorry moving out and the pro only problem with this as well is the fact that you you don't have that many lightning abilities either like right now we've only got lightning spike and that's it in terms of our long range damage and then we've got equipped lightning as well so I don't know how I managed to dodge that. Come on! Try. That's all it took for that. <laughs> normally, normally if you're not prepared for that, you will die about five times to that boss. And I'm not even kidding. You will die about five times to that boss. Right then. Alright, so from that cutscene, we just got Nicola's blood vestige. And you possibly wonder what I mean by that, you'll understand later on in the game. And then we're going to wait for the next cutscene to pop up. all of that
and we got the Beyond Vestige one, which is actually none of our characters' is vestiges. Right. Did you yes, we are what going to upgrade? upgrade the Enduring Crimson to plus four. Which blood veil do you want to? Uh, Which weapon do you want to transform? Um, no, not no, those okay. yet. Boy, um, what do we want to do now? Boy, uh, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna call this it for the video, guys. Um. Of course, it took longer than what I thought it was going to take because, well, I had to go back to a segment to get the Assassin's Blood Code. But next time we are going to go, we are going to continue with the Dry Duck Trench, I believe it is. But we're not going to be starting off from the, oh, wait, yeah, Pound Cake from Yakimo. Um, as I was saying, we're not going to be starting from the Midway Point Missile that we got. So we're not going to start from the Decayed Ship. We are going to start from the very beginning only because... Um, if you saw when the first time I went here, we did miss like a segment, which, which, it, well, well, you'll know when we get into the video. Well, when we get to that video. But until then, I'll see you guys later. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, share the video, and see you next time. Bye, guys.